Hello and welcome. Today I'm in the tier 7 Japanese cruiser, the Miyoko. This match is on the map fault line and at this current moment, when the video is being recorded, it's literally 4am. Anyways, uh, I started out by going to the left side of the map, in the A area, where people often go. And I decided to, well, go and meet enemies straight ahead and it seems that the carrier is coming directly for me. But since I'm a cruiser, I obviously clicked on the torpedo bombers and used my ability. And I'm gonna slaughter those planes. Also, I apologize for uh, still having the old icons. This match happened. I think it didn't happen before I changed the icons, but because there was a new patch, I had to reinstall the mods, so kind of messed things up it has already been taken care of again the enemy team has taken the lead. one thing I don't understand about them this content that people have with um, icons is that th they say that they don't understand what's going on but almost all of these icons literally have what they mean written on them like the current icons literally have plane kill in the top right corner written and you know how 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 can you mistake that but anyways i'm going backwards to cover tuka while he caps and i see this pepsi so obviously i'm gonna take a shot i'll keep going i mean i start going forwards because i imagine the pepsi is gonna fire and i just want to get out of the way the pepsi used his repair maybe if I get another shot, I'll get uh, another fire, and if I do, hopefully the repair will be gone. But because I was going backwards, the first shot on the Pepsi actually missed. And because I changed uh, where I was going, the next shot also missed. So I essentially outplayed him. Sadly, my second volley kind of missed. Oh well, it happens. But now I'm a bit afraid because there's Colorado firing. Luckily I turned a bit to the right, so I didn't eat the Citadel hit from this Colorado. The plan is to essentially just turn around because I don't want to really get out from behind. Oh my god, an Omaha! Swap to AP obviously, instantly. And my plan is to kill this Omaha. I just don't want to show full broadside, if I angle a bit, his AP shouldn't be able to citadel me, and only the HE should be, you know, scary. But my AP is even scarier for him, because, well, mine deals a lot of damage. I also fire my torpedoes because there's absolutely no reason not to, and wow, Omaha, you are dead. Those torpedoes are there just in case maybe my earlier shot will miss. But it seems the Omaha is turning away, but the problem is that the way he's turning, he's gonna hit the island. Well, if he lives long enough, which he, you know, didn't. Sorry. But anyways, now it's time for the New York. If I can, I can only like fire once though, then I'll be out of um, range. And, um, okay, well, we have all the three caps. We are being capped at A, but that's okay, though. I don't really want to go in there straight away, at least, because, well, we don't have anyone there. I mean, even Tuka has died, which is unfortunate, but Strangers is the carrier, which means that, you know, it's okay. And since we have the cap points advantage, even when they get A, it should be fine. So I'll just turn around, turn my guns and go back towards A and just shell from afar. We don't really need to cap it, we just need to pressure it to keep enemies on that side. And, you know, being... Uh, being too courageous would be foolish, because, well, it would get me killed. As there are a lot of enemies on that er in that area, and it seems that there's only like one or two people at sea. 
Originally, I wouldn't have thought there were any enemies in that area, but because it's getting kept, there's, well, at least one. But because of where our ships are, I imagine there's like one or two that... One or at most two that slipped through. Which means that at least one of the destroyers is over there, the other one is at B. The enemy team has taken so, the two of them are accounted for. At this point, I, I, I don't have anything else that I can fire at. It's important to not really be killed, but because I am fairly far, far away, I'll just fire at this Hatsuharu. I also stop because I don't want to keep going straight ahead, as that might be a bit um, dangerous. Because it would either have, it would either put me behind the island, so I wouldn't be able to fire at the Hatsuharu, or if I go the other way, it might put me in a dangerous spot. But since, well, my guns can't be brought to bear on the Hatsuharu anymore, I decide to take the dangerous path to take a risk. So essentially, I'm being seen by at least four enemies. There's one to the right of me, the destroyer and the cruiser. And I can see the enemy carrier as well. After this volley on the Hatsuharu, I think I'll... I think I'll go for the carrier, or at least uh, pressure the carrier. Wow, and the Hiryu is going backwards. Okay, well, once I start taking shots at him, he's gonna have a bad time. Originally, I thought of going into the A-cap, but because I noticed that there's literally three enemy ships there, two cruisers and the battleship. I, I think I'll just go and mess with the carrier instead. I'd be fine with an Aoba and a Pepsi, but add a New York to that and well, I think that I will waste resources trying to fight them. So I'll just drop a torpedo volley. I would want to wait until the plane has died, but you know, if I... because the scout plane, or rather the fighter plane, might spot the torpedoes that are fired, but you know, if I don't have a chance of firing them at all, then it's better that, that they're spotted and fired than if they don't get fired at all. I had to watch out for the Hatsuharu because that he didn't die and he is to the left side of me. But this Hiryu is undoubtedly the more important one. Okay, I see the Hatsuharu. He's still quite far away. I have to also watch out for a potential strike from the carrier himself. So my plan is to actually try to deal with the Hatsuharu to make him not to drop torpedoes because if I get attacked by the Hatsuharu at the same time as the carrier with torpedoes that might be dangerous. But to use my ability and target the torpedo bombers to be able to kill them, at least thin out their numbers so I don't get attacked by both at the same time. Okay, I think the carrier threat, if he drops his load with the current volley, that should be it. He shouldn't be able to threaten me more because he is on fire. But dealing a bit more damage would be a good idea, because in that case, the carrier threat would be dealt with and uh, even if I die, the sacrifice was definitely not in vain. I fired these torpedoes because maybe the Hiryu will try to start going forward, so... Wow, 16,500 damage. Goodbye, carrier. And the Hatsuharu is low HP too. Because he is in range, I select him immediately. But since he has so little HP, I'll just fire my AP at him. Because I have AP loaded. But it doesn't exactly matter. It should all be enough to kill him. Excellent. Too bad it wasn't a double strike. Also, too bad that there's an Aoba coming. I, if I had torpedoes on that side, I would fire them, but there's 30 seconds more to go, so I guess not. I will just have to rely on my um, luck with AP and uh, hope that my yeah, angling can uh, avoid getting killed by the Aoba. Hmm. <laughs> okay then. Alba, sorry, I think it's a bad day for you. We've destroyed an enemy. Oh yeah. Too bad.
abolished. An entire Alba gone. Instantly. Okay, not instantly. I guess it did take like 15 seconds, but you know. Details, details. I mean, think about it. You're an Alba. You see uh, Miyoko with like 15,000 HP coming. You are full HP. You come around the island and you die in two volleys. How unfortunate is that? But at this point it's uh, a fight against two Nürnbergs. The problem with this fight against these Nürnbergs is that... Um, Strangers, I think, or was it Tuka, recognizes the names and he says that the players playing this, these Nürnbergs are rather good at the game, so... I have to be a bit careful. Luckily I'm not the closest uh, ship, so I wasn't being the first target. I don't really want to fight both of them at the same time, though. I heard that the Nuremberg's have uh, awful armor, so I immediately started firing AP, but so far I haven't seen that awful armor yet. I thought the armor was pretty good so far. Then again, maybe I just fired in a bad way. But I don't really see them being able to survive this fight as it's two cruisers against a cruiser and a battleship. And the cruiser is uh, captained by me, so... You know. Bad luck, mate. Although I don't know if the German cruisers actually have AP. I mean, torpedoes, so maybe that one could be dangerous, but... A 15,000 HP volley is uh, quite something. I guess in this case I did show that the uh, armor on them isn't the greatest. I fire my guns and start turning because the Nuremberg was firing back. Our victory is in sight. And uh, both the Nuremberg's have been taken care of. I had an excellent game though. 16 citadel hits and 6 kills. Although some of them were kill secure, so they weren't the greatest. 11,000 experience. Both high caliber and uh, I mean, even almost 500k in a tier 7 cruiser and 16 citadel hits, two devastating strikes as well. And even 500 base, uh, I mean 500 free experience. Almost 3000 base experience as well. Quite something. If it wasn't for strangers, even the number 2 guy wouldn't be at half my points. And the one Pepsi that survived has 53 experience. Wow. I guess he started running or something. Wow, I did a good uh, 120k damage. Even more than that, at least a little bit more. So this was quite a match. So anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe and thanks for watching.